We have to improve the efficiency of all the buildings by 65% on average. Every year at the end of March, many cities around the world take part in Earth Hour. That means turning off electricity to save the planet one light at a time. And in Winnipeg, it was no different with historic buildings such as the Human Rights Museum turning off their lights in support of the cause. The World Wildlife Federation launched the 15th annual Earth Hour from 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 on Saturday, March 26th. But for Climate Change Connection here in Winnipeg, this is just the beginning. The only benefit to Earth Hour uh, really is raising awareness or getting people to think about uh, their impact uh, on the environment and to think about the energy that they use. Kurt Hall and the team at Climate Change Connection released a study saying Manitoba can get to zero emissions by 2050, but it will take a lot of work and a lot of focus. I'm often asked, what can we do as individuals? And, and we need to be aware of every bit of carbon that we put into the atmosphere. You have to be, be aware of every liter of gasoline that we burn, every every cubic meter of natural gas that we burn. We got to be aware of that and we got to try as much as we can to reduce those things. Changing the infrastructure is the way to go according to Climate Change Connection. Otherwise, the future does not look so friendly. Besides the, the things that we see already, right? We, we see the floods and we see the droughts and we see the wildfires and, and things like that. And those are going to become more frequent and more uh, severe even than what we've seen so far. That's, that's still going to happen. But on a global scale, the, 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 the impacts are even more severe, more profound, to the point where people can't feed themselves and they can't stay where they are. And we have climate refugees moving around on the planet. For more information, visit climateactionmb.ca. In Winnipeg, Brianne Foley, City News.